Hello everyone, so this is just a quick screencast on the changes f I made for Markdown for Keyboard Maestro since the original 2.0 release. Um, I just want to talk about the major changes and want to focus on the changes that I made in version 2.2 because I'm just working on that version. So what's new now in 2.1 has been uh, the, the helper is text selected, this guy down here. You don't need to configure anymore. Peter has improved the way Keyboard Maestro works and we don't need to have a setting for this anymore. Um, the footnote tag, this one's pretty cool, I think. Now auto suggests a footnote tag based on the word the cursor is standing on. So when you activate it, you briefly saw that there was a text selection and this is basically used as a suggested word for the footnote tag. And I think that's pretty awesome. All right, um, you can see the other changes here on the website. You can also go to the GitHub page and I link to the other releases as well. What else is new? There's now a preview with uh, the preview with marked uh, macro opens the final selection if there is one. Um, I also I also introduced a Markdownify uh, macro. This one uses hackiesmarkdown.com to convert selected text to Markdown. If you have an internet connection, if you don't have an internet connection, it actually uses Pandoc on the command line. And if you want to use Pandoc uh, permanently, you can change this in the macro. 2.1.3 was nothing too fancy new. Um, I was working on the new link macro and I basically wanted more speed and so what the new ma link macro now does is it waits only five seconds for the server re server response and downloads only five seconds worth of HTML to find the title tag and this makes the macro much much faster because the way it was before I was basically staring at my screen just waiting for that stupid uh, macro to finish. Um, there were there were also some other changes provided by a user FNCLL, a, th a pretty great guy. Thank you for providing the changes. My main focus for 2.2 was the list macro. You saw in 2.0 that I introduced a feature in the header macro where you can easily increment and decrement um, header levels with the macro and I wanted to have something similar for the list macro. Um, so let me just remove this text here because we don't actually need it anymore. Uh, the way this macro works is still the same. You invoke it with the shortcut and then you press one and by default it uses the asterisk symbol as a list character. You can configure this in the macro right here. If you prefer minuses or the plus sign, which are also valid in Markdown, you can change this here. What's new now is that you can change the list style based on the first character that you have selected. So if you want to transform this list and even mixed lists are possible to uh, use the, the minus symbol as a list character. You can just run the macro again and the same works for the plus as well. And you can also use or change this. I hope this works because it's still a bit rough on the edges. Yes, it works kind of, sort of. <laughs> um, so this is basic the change and I think what's broken is when I go back to this. Yes, this is broken. So I'm still working on this. Uh, what also is new is a small but pretty cool change, I think, to the header macro. So Pedro wanted to be able to increment and decrement headers more easily. Uh, he basically was annoyed by me because um, yeah, let's just run the macro. He didn't want to have this uh, menu anymore to type in the header level and uh, he wanted to have something more easily. So the change is basically you invoke 
the macro and you see that it taking about three seconds actually it is pretty it is exactly three seconds before this window appears until then we can use the right and left arrow keys to increment and decrement the header level so let me run this macro again and now i'm pressing the right arrow key three times one two three and there we go press tab to tap out of the uh, header and you heard it it was four times uh, this time and it works actually pretty good i must say yeah obviously i still have to change this when text is selected but this is basically the change i made to this macro i hope you enjoy the 2.2 release um let me know in the comments and and spread the love for this markdown library thank you